We are firing up the vlog a little early here. Um, we're only about two and a half hours outside of Denver at a TA. Um, popped a drive tire on the rig. This is the only place that said they might have a tire and could fix it. They didn't tell us how long it's gonna be, but we made it here. It was kind of sketchy. We had to limp the thing about 15, 20 miles almost with only one, I mean, it's a dually, but you know. So we had one good drive tire on that side going about 25 on the interstate but we made it we're here um, we're just gonna hang out and walk around in the parking lot until they can get us in and get us back on the road trip out here but we're here we're feeling good we made some changes to the car so we'll see how we like it if we went the right way I'm excited to see how it feels but for now we're gonna head on out to the drivers meeting see what's going on they changed the track some from previous years so I'm excited it seems like it'll flow a lot better stuff like that so we will see Got down to the hot pit a little bit early, no problem. Um, just wanted to show you guys before the driver's meeting, this badass thing that Kevin Wells went and did for us. Um, so these garages have always been here, but before they were sort of <laughs> um, first come, first serve, they were, had a bunch of equipment stored under them and stuff like that. But FD went ahead and got these all cleared out for us. So there's something like, let me see here, 32 usable bays here which just so happens to be, you know, top 32 after qualifying. So basically every team gets to operate out of a garage, which is nice. You're gonna hear me say many, many times, this is the most miserable event temperature wise. It is always hot. It is always through the roof, humid, muggy. My glasses are fogging. So it's really nice to be able to operate under these. So huge shout out to them for taking care of us because that's fucking awesome. <laughs> The extension to outer zone three. Sounds like it's going to be a very technical track to drive with that um, addition. Lots of quick, snappy transitions, and they really are hammering into us to, you know, get out of angle, get back to angle, like that. So that's what's going to get us a good X factor and a good score overall. It's just really snapping those transitions, but. We're firing up the cars to go out for practice. We've got about three hours of practice right into qualifying. So hopefully get some good laps in here in the chase line. Get ready to go. So let's see how it goes. Date, as you uh, just saw there first lap went way too deep in outer two got back on throttle and just really didn't have any forward drive being that far offline no rubber out there you know hammered it blew the tires off just didn't didn't dig out at all so 
ended up burying the ass into the wall hard enough to slap the front around. Um, fucked everything. Um, bent like three rear arms, sheared them out completely off the subframe, broke the rear subframe, obviously, the front subframe, um, the front lower control arm bent. So basically the whole driver's side of the car is bent and fucked. Um, the crew is killing it. They've been working on it. I've already got the front back together, um, band-aided enough to get through the day. The rear, they are still working on. It's the worst of the two, but we got the mount welded back on. So it's basically, I think it's about to start going back together. Huge shout out to everyone who's come over, checked on me, helped us out. Um, Sam went us coil over. Alec Robbins got us some hardware, you know, Ferrars crew was over here instantly, M Specs crew was over here instantly, everyone getting hands on trying to make sure we get back out. And that's uh, really what the sport's about. The sportsmanship of it is what brought me here and it's what keeps me here. It sucks to be on this side of it, usually we're on the other side, but it is what it is. So I've got faith in the crew. I don't know if we'll get another practice lap. We've got about an hour left before qualifying. So we're gonna try to get one practice lap out there, but we'll see. It's left out of gear. All right. Ugh. We've seen many different iterations of this track. If, if you can recall that the first time we out, came out here, man, um, GoPro launched a camera out here. I don't know if you remember that. And oh, yeah. uh, that's where Johnny FPV, uh, he was drone drone piloting for us. We were on that far side of the track. One of the fastest tracks out here. Now we've kind of utilized this, and uh, here we go. So taking a look, this is uh, Mr. Uh, this is Justin Chestnut. All right, into that second outside zone, and that third outside zone Ooh, leaves it. I don't even know if he got a tire in there, unfortunately. He just really struggling. It seems like he's fighting the car a little bit. Yeah, the car's got a lot be, of grip. There might be a little more rubber down from when he uh, initially practiced because he did kind of put in the wall in practice. All right, so we just came in from our first qualifying lap. Just went out, really felt the car out, basically. Went very conservative. Um, got an A score, not a good enough score. I think it ended up with like a 46. But didn't trust the car, I trust the car now. Shouldn't say I didn't trust it, just wasn't sure what to expect with it, so I didn't want to chuck it super deep anywhere. Get myself into problem and make more work for the guys tonight. So, did a safe run, got a score. I feel much better with how the car is gonna feel going in. That was my first full lap. So hopefully we'll get out here, do our second lap, put up, you know, mid 70s, still gonna be pretty somewhat conservative, just not as conservative as I was on the first one. So hopefully we get out there. I'm gonna shoot for like a 75, um, get it, get in the zones, and hopefully we'll be in the show tomorrow.
failed to get out. The car just way too gripped up. Just did not did not slide into those those zones. All right, Chestnut. Let's see how uh, aggressive he's gonna be here. And she and grips up on the inside. Late transition. Coming that second outside zone. Oh no, he hops around. That's gonna be just so gripped up. Yeah, I believe that's gonna be an incomplete. So again, he does have a score, but. So, unfortunately, our second round qualifying did not go great. Um, I'm not really sure what happened. I haven't watched the live stream footage yet. But when I left outer one, transitioned into two, for some reason the front end just washed super bad. And I was in full on understeer all the way through two. Just kind of had to try to avoid the wall again. Reinitiated, ran three and four, but it was enough to deem it an incomplete. So, fortunately, we are not making it in the show this round either. But we're doing what we can, working with this damn chassis, trying to figure it out. Um, the list of damage is pretty significant. The, the car is fine, but I need to get a lot of parts coming before Utah. So we're going to start taking a tally of all that, um, get with Odie, get some replacement parts coming, some new wise fab. So we'll be back for Utah. Going to do a test day in between, hopefully figure some of this shit out. So it is what it is. And a big thanks to our partners.